Hi and welcome to another Memories Made video. I'm designer Jen Gallagher and today we are going to use a fun turquoise and red color scheme to document a recent gift my husband gave me for our 20th anniversary. And so I'm going to start with some pattern paper from Simple Stories and I will link you to all the products in the blog post that coordinates with this particular video. This is also some paper from Crate Paper and I'm going to use the B side and it is kind of a cream color and many of the elements in this particular layout today are cream. And we'll go ahead and add that to the layout. Then at the top here I have some pattern paper from Little Yellow Bicycle and it's hearts on one side and it's little scallop waves on the other. And when I am creating a layout, I try to design with intention, meaning that I add elements that coordinate or add to the theme. And since this layout is about an anniversary, I wanted to incorporate the hearts. Then back behind here, I want to tuck in a few elements. And so I have from Chic Tags a little memos card. And from Little Yellow Bicycle is this I Love You card. And I like just creating little vignettes where I just tuck in elements. And I usually use little die cut tabs or file folders and I just overlap them and then we'll adhere that down a little bit. Also from Chic Tags are a Valentine collection but it works well for anniversaries and there are tags within this collection that are more generic in nature. And so I'm going to use this little triangle tag and I try to incorporate at least three elements. So I have three different items here create kind of a visual triangle. And then I have a button that I've tied with twine and it is in the same kind of teal blue color that I've been using, that aqua color. And I'm going to adhere that at the top. Then I'm going to use a strip from a old piece of Echo Park paper that is from a girl collection they have and I wanted to pull in some brown elements. And the tan here is somewhat brown, but I wanted to pull in some darker elements. And we'll add that here. We want to make sure that triangle sits on top. And you can see how I'm visually connecting and I'm moving the eye down the page because I'm going to add the photos later. And I want to draw attention to those photos. I have some die cut feather tags from Jenny Bolin Design and it's fun because they actually have red on top of them and that goes with the theme that I want to use. From the Chapters mini albums from October Afternoon is this fun sheet and I've used these many times before and I'm just continually using them until they're all used up. And I'm going to place that not quite on the edge. And then from a Teresa Collins file folder, I want to cover up these little holes. I cut, I had an extra file folder and I cut it in half, but I really love this diagonal stripe. And so I'm going to go ahead and use that to cover up the holes on the chapters part. Just tuck that in. And I'm just using elements and leftovers. And so I just shopped my stash, shopped my stash until I found items that matched what I wanted to create. And then for the photos, I'm going to use these frames from Crate Paper, and they mimic old slide frames. And we'll go ahead and add photos behind them. And for this particular layout, I'm going to combine photos from two different events. So recently, my husband gave me two dozen roses for our anniversary. It's our 20th, as I mentioned. But I wanted to include photos of us, and so this was a trip we took to Disneyland. And even though there are two different events, it worked because I wanted to talk about both us and the gift that he gave me. And so that is how I incorporate items from different events. So when I'm taking photos at, say, Disneyland, I try and get multiple types of photos because sometimes those events are the only times when, for instance, my husband and I are ever together in a situation where the kids can take photos of us. So I try to think ahead about, well, I need a photo of us later, and I take multiples. We will go ahead and add these on top of the chapters pattern paper. And they're chipboard frames, and so they don't take up much width in your albums. They're fairly flat, but they give it a little bit of dimension, but not too much. I'm just using glue dots to adhere them to the photos. 
and I've trimmed the photos so that they will easily fit the frames. This particular frame set includes several different sizes, small, medium, and large, and there's even some wood grain ones that are really fun. So for the journaling, I printed it out on a sheet of craft cardstock and I wanted to place it across the two frames to join them together. And I want to create a little pennant, so I'm just going to gently fold it and then I'll cut a little triangle from the bottom of it. And then I'm going to rub the edges with some brown stamping ink. And that'll make it look a little bit distressed and help it stand out a little bit more. And the journaling talks about the gift of the roses and the significance of it. And this just helps bring together both frames. So a couple of additional embellishments I wanted to add. I have some pattern paper from a 6x6 paper pad from Echo Park Paper. It's from the camping collection that I used last in last week's Memories Made video. And I used a Tim Holtz file folder manual die cut shape. And I just trimmed out a file folder shape. I'm just going to tuck that behind. Then I'm going to go ahead and adhere my feathers to the page. You could use glue dots or regular adhesive for these. And then I want them, the top one, to stand out just a little bit. So I'm going to use some adhesive foam dots. And I want to make sure that they don't show on the front. And this will give it a little bit more shadow as it lays on the larger feather. I'll just slightly overlap them so you can see that creates just a little bit of shadow behind here, which makes it a little bit more interesting. I'm going to trim off some of this tag. All right, let's go ahead and adhere the photo, the larger photo, and this is a four by six photo. I did print it at home, so it does have a white outline around the photo, but you can use any four by six photo and simply mat it on white cardstock to get the exact same look. We'll just tuck it behind that chapters pattern paper. I have another tag from Chic Tags, and these are all from the same collections. This one is from their travel collection, but these two are from the Alpha, or rather the Valentine collection. And it shows a man and a woman with a heart, so I thought that was appropriate. This is a sticker from the Everyday Eclectic collection from Echo Park Paper, and it says Capture the Moment, and I'm going to tuck that behind the wooden tag. And then I have two small stained hearts in wood veneer and I'm going to add those above the die cut heart and die cut circle. And then here at the bottom I have a couple of different pennants that I have punched from scrap pieces of paper and I do keep my pattern paper by color, my scraps, and so I just go through and find what I need and then I also pulled a pennant shape from an old My Mind's Eye chipboard sticker set. And this is the punch that I used. And it is a great EK Success punch if you're looking for pennants. And we'll go ahead and overlap these at the bottom here. Trying to bring in some more of that dark brown and light brown elements. You can create these little vignettes, visual triangles all over the layout. And then we'll add the chipboard one, and it is a sticker, so you don't need to add additional adhesive. We're going to actually tuck that one on top. So you can see how I'm just all over the page. There are different little vignettes and things that you can use to decorate the page. From the Sweet Girl collection from Echo Park Paper, the element sticker sheet are these fun little heart photo corners. And I'm going to place them only on the left side. And you could use photo corners that you have on hand or whatever else you want. And then I'm going to combine a title that includes both die cuts as well as stickers. This number two is simply cut with a true type font called Chunk 5. And it is cut with my silhouette machine from some dark teal cardstock. And then I have some stickers from Basic Gray. This is from the Pyrus collection. And I'm going to spell out the rest of the title with these letter stickers. 
and they're a nice subtle tan. They do also have the black option if you wanted to use the black. And I'm going to say two decades. And that's why my husband got me two dozen roses, one for each decade we've been married. So you can see on this layout I have used Valentine themed products, which is great for an anniversary page. You can also use Christmas items if they're just red and they don't seem predominantly Christmas. You can use any item that is subtle enough in its theme that will work with whatever project and memory you are documenting. So we'll say two decades there. And then I want to finish off with some enamel dots. As you know, I love my enamel dots. And we'll combine a couple of different sizes and colors so that we get a fun looking enamel dot. So there you have today's Memories Made layout which focuses on combining photos from two different events. If you've missed any of these videos in this series, be sure to check my YouTube channel or my blog. The blog will also include the complete supply list. Thank you for joining me for today's video.